So I have just finished work and I'm about to make a video talking about my top 5 ninth Doctor episodes. So you know what, let's get this started. Hello, welcome to All Things Doctor Who, I'm Alan and today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 ninth Doctor episodes with Charlie himself, so this is going to be really fun to talk about as I love ninth Doctor, Charlie loves ninth Doctor, so who better to talk about ninth Doctor than two people who love him? He's amazing, I absolutely love his Doctor, if you can't tell, I own his set right there. And it's just incredible. I cannot wait to get into this because he's one of my favourite new Doctors and he has grown in my list so much. So, without further ado, let's get this started. So, one guideline before we get this video started. Two parts such as Aliens in London and World War 3 count as one episode. So, if you're going to see that in my list or if it is even in my list, that's one episode. So, you know what? Let's get this started. I've got my my big finished Do Ninth Doctor Co Companion Chronicles set ready. I've got my Series 1 Steelbook ready. This is going to be awesome. So in number 5 we have Rose. Now this episode in my opinion is absolutely fantastic. One of the best new series openers. The Ninth Doctor is brilliant and I even like Rose slightly in this episode. Apart from being a bit of a bitch to Mickey at the end by dragging him off by saying this. By the way, did I mention it also travels in time? Thanks. Thanks for what? Exactly. I like it. It's a fun episode. It brings up the Autons and it's very much like Spearhead from Space in the way it's recreating new episodes. And if you know my relationship with Spearhead from Space, you know I adore that episode. So you know what? Let's move over to Charlie's number five. What's the plant of the north? Hey guys! God, it's been so long, hasn't it, since you lost all my face? So yeah, this is basically my top five Ninth Doctors. I believe I'll be doing this with Aaron, so uh, credits to you mate, really appreciate that. So, my number five choice for the top Christopher Eggleston mm, and story. And just be aware, he is my favourite Doctor of all time. So my first choice, coming in at number 5 spot for my top 5 Christopher Eccleston stories, is The End of the World. Now, it's a very emotional story. Yeah, it's very, very emotional because look, it shows what would happen to the Earth when it gets all doomsday and everything. All the humans are dead. Well, we presume to be, but there's um, some Sandra, which pretends to be the last human. Billy Piper is fantastic as Rose Tyler. Chris Robertson, oh, he's on top notch. He is. He really is on top notch. And sorry if I repeat or stutter, but he really is fantastic. He makes the world his own own in this episode. A very emotional episode that shows what happens to the Earth after humans are dead in the year 5 billion, I believe. Some correct me if I'm wrong though, but still, it's a fantastic episode. So, my next choice, which is coming in at number 4, is another one I like to call another emotional episode. My number 4 spot is... The Empty Child and the Doctor Dancers. Now, the reason I'll put this at number four is because I really like this episode. It's such a great episode and one of the Ninth Doctor's best performances. And I think the fact that this episode introduces Captain Jack as well as this relationship between Rose and this, this great trio is absolutely fantastic. And I love that about this episode. Now, the thing is, I know people would put this a lot higher on their list. I completely understand that. But the thing is for me, I don't love it as other people. But I see the gas mask origin as being incredibly scary. And it's when Stephen Moffat was actually at his best, in my opinion. The World War II actual setting was phenomenal. You, you actually could imagine that setting and it actually seemed like it was there. So that is my number four. You know what? And now I'm going to take you back to Charlie's number four. Father's Day. Now this episode 
is the episode where where um, we finally find out what happens to Rose's dad. He dies in the car crash, spoiler alert. And this is a very, very intense episode, and I freaking love it to bits. Watching this one, you can't go wrong with the emotional. And watching this one, it actually teaches you folks a lesson. Do not alter the past, otherwise it could mean disastrous results for the future or the time at the time. Uh, it's like, for example, it could start World War Three or something like that. But, but still, you should not meddle with time, no matter what it is. That's a lesson to not just Rose, as she found out in the episode, but to all of you who, who watch Doctor Who. Do not meddle with the timeline, otherwise it could lead to disastrous results. And my number three is Father's Day. Now, Father's Day, in my opinion, is such a great episode of Doctor Who. It really talks about the whole idea of changing time, and I honestly think the Night of Doctor Optimus is fantastic. Apart from one plot hole, it's had the Doctor come back. Where did he appear from after just walking behind those? Apart from that, I absolutely love this episode. Reapers are a fantastic idea. And just going into Rose's past really just, you know, get her out as a companion. And it's just such a great episode. And you all need to watch this if you're a fan of The Ninth Doctor. Taking the third spot is what I believe to be one of, if not the scariest, two-part story I've ever, ever seen. Of course, I'm talking about the Empty Child slash The Doctor Dancers, as written by the uh, coming to an end showrunner Stephen Moffat. Holy Mother of God, it's really, really good. It's definitely scary enough, yeah? Yeah. What are the points that I almost. Well, let's not go that far. But <laughs> still, it's uh, still a cracking two part. So, absolutely worthy of the number three. Spot. It's scary, it's intense, it's good acting, and it's the first appearance of John Bell, Elf John Bellman as Captain Jack. Harkness, I believe you can ask that. And let's be honest, he is an amazing character, he really, really is. And in number two spot, we have Dalek. Now, this is the first new series Dalek episode, and my god. What an amazing episode. I know Charlie adores this episode, and I know that, and you know what, I adore it too. The Dalek is written perfectly, and it really shows the power of one Dalek, how one Dalek can destroy a whole unit of people, how dangerous it can be, and it recreates them in such a fantastic way. My god, the scene alone with the Ninth Doctor, and the Dalek stuck in a room, and the confrontation with the actual the Time War, it's just fantastic, I adore Dalek, and you know what? This story is just it's brilliant. It, it is just brilliant. One of the best new Dalek episodes in all of Doctor Who. Well, the new series, I'd say. So, let's go on to Charlie's number two. This next choice is another two-parter. Uh, yep, it's the finale of series one. Battle from the Part of the Ways. What more could you want for the two story that wraps up the entire story of a bad wolf? Well, how about this? Daleks, game shows, Dalek Emperor, uh, oh, it's like, oh, the perfect finale, honestly, is. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what my favourite finale is, it's probably this one, it's probably another hand without it yet, but still, it's a fantastic finale. All the elements come together like bread and butter. And I did mention the Emperor Dalek because, look, if you've seen the classic era, he was, well, it was in the classic era as well, during the uh, now mostly lost story called e The Evil of the Daleks, which I'm very proud to own the uh, audio CD for. Well, that, that is from uh, Patrick Troughton's one, which I know is Aaron's favourite doctor from the classic series. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So yeah, what can I, what more can I say about uh, about Wolf and the Palm of the Way that hasn't been said already? Well, other than it's fantastic, and well, I didn't really want him to go. Huh. 
Yeah, because what Wilson, spoiler alert, actually regenerates into David Tennant in that one, which I'm very sad about, but hey, at least uh, David Tennant was a uh, good, good uh, in the uh, story times, for the most part, at least. He's so, yeah, but the big question is, what can be better than Bad Wolf and the Pond of the Ways with the Darkness? My honourable mention has to be Aliens and London and World War 3, just for the fact of, you know what, I think it's underrated. Granted, people see this as farting green aliens taking over Parliament, and you know what, I love it, it's great, I find it so entertaining, I think it's got some great moments that introduces Harriet Jones to the Doctor of the Universe, and she is a great side character. Mickey is youthful, Mickey the idiot, and honestly guys, this episode is just awesome. And I really do love this episode. And just re-watching it, I just love it even more. So, before we go, go into my number one spot, we're going to go on to Charlie's. So, you know what? Take it away, Charlie. Originally, I was going to pick her the very first episode of Series 1, Rose. But, um, you know, I said, you know what? I will say that as a honourable mention. So, there you go. Now, my uh, top number one choice for my favourite Christopher Eggston, and it, uh, it's actually my favourite Doctor Who story of all time, believe it or not, is Dark. Holy Mother of God, Dark. There aren't any, any negative things about, well, with the exception of uh, Adam Mitchell, that is, as played by uh, Bruno Langley, if I'm not mistaken. Other than that, it's a pretty flawless story. It's absolutely brilliant, a brilliant masterpiece by, by uh, the great Robert Sherman. I think I pronounced his name right. Um, um, so yeah, this is a brilliant masterpiece of a story, and I love it to absolute bits. Christopher Eggleston makes the role his own. Seriously, he is that, spoiler alert, well, no spoiler alert, but you get what I mean. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's funny. Yeah. Anyway, those are my top uh, seven, uh, from the five, sorry, uh, Christopher stories. So, yeah, this has been me, Charlie, and remember to stay cool, and I'll see you guys when I next see you. Peace. And my number one spot from the ninth Doctor episode is Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways. Guys, Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways is one of my favourite two parties of all time. I rewatched this recently, um, and what can I say? It's phenomenal. It's just brilliant. The ninth Doctor's generation is so sad yet so happy because he accepts it. He knows he's going to die. He said, you know what? You were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what? So was I. And he regenerates, and it's just, oh my god, brilliant. And I have to say, with Daleks in this, the lines, are you a coward, or are you a killer? And he says, you know what, coward any day, and that is the Doctor. My god, if I could talk about this episode so much more, I would, and I may do, I just, I own personal view of this episode, but Bad Wolf and Part of God Ways is a gem, one of the best regeneration episodes of all time. I adore it. So, thank you so much for watching, I'm More Things Doctor Who, and this is the top 5 ninth Doctor moments now. We are going to be moving on to the top 5 10th Doctor episodes next week, which is going to be so fun, because I know you guys are going to love that of 10th Doctor. It's a big personal favourite to a lot of people, so I hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching, guys, as I really love you guys just watch my videos and just all these people that come on and give them all the support and confidence to do their own channels or just put more videos on because it just shows how amazing you people are all together. So thank you so much, I'm All Things Doctor 2 and I'll see you later. See ya.